Shalom and welcome back, Yeshua lovers. This is another olive and tav treasure uh, next to the uh. yod Hey vav Hey, as you can see. And we are in 1 Kings chapter 8, and you will find this in verse 54. Um, our English verse reads, And so it was... When Solomon had finished praying all this prayer and supplication to Yahovah, Aleph and Tav, that he arose from before the altar of Yahovah, from kneeling on his knees with his hands spread up to heaven. Now, the Hebrew doesn't put it in that order, so we'll kind of go over the, the first part of this verse. Vayahi, and it was... Kolot, which kol is all, kolot would be plural all, and the kaf in front of it, uh, we can say it had finished, uh, that's, that's kind of a all-inclusive Hebrew type word, but uh, there's Shlomo, so who is Solomon, Lahit Palil, which is to pray, El, El is actually two, but you also know El as being El, as in short for Elohim, so is this El a dual purpose, I don't know. The Lamed in front of words such as this, La'avotam, to their fathers, uh, Lishmeha, which would be to your name. Uh, the Lamed in front of words often means to. So this is just the longer version, L. But anyway, um, El Yahovah, Aleph and Tav, stand alone. And then Kol Hat Pila, uh, prayer and supplication, Hat Hina Hazot, this. So he's saying, and it was when he had finished, who had finished? Shlomo had finished to pray to Yahovah Aleph and Tav, all his prayer and supplication of these. So, it, it kind of seems like that is intentionally together to me. Yeah, El, Yahovah Aleph and Tav, and I love when Aleph and Tav and Yahovah are right next to each other. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all this and hope you have a blessed day. I'm working on another one too, so maybe I'll be able to upload both today. I don't know. We'll see. But Lahidra Oat, love you guys. Have a blessed day.